John Roper with Trig Avionics. ADSB, the deadline is approaching, and you've got some interesting solutions here at Trig that you say you're getting a lot of interest in here at Oshkosh. Absolutely, Tom. Yeah, we're delighted to be here at Oshkosh again, and our transponders are all compliant for the mandate, TSO C166B. Um, the TT22 is an incredibly popular transponder because it's a class one device. It's small, space saving, and will go into almost any panel. It's great for light sport and experimental types. And then actually the same pilots here at Oshkosh also opt perhaps if they want a stack transponder for our TT31. And that's great because it's a retrofit for the KT76A, C or 78A. So that saves on the installation. It makes the cost lower. You don't have to fit a new antenna. You can use your existing antenna, your existing wiring and your existing altitude encoder. So Trig is all about giving a solution that is pain free, stress free as we say. So this year what we're sharing with people is our latest TN72 product. Now this is a WAS capable C145 device. Under the FAA rules, experimental and light sport pilots can use one of these. It's an uncertified device. And this will be coming to market this year. Um, and we've had lots and lots of people who can see the benefit of being able to fit that into their light sport or experimental aircraft with one of our existing transponders. Are you seeing that people are finally getting the message that the January 1, 2020 deadline is real and that they need to get, get busy getting their airplanes equipped? Oh, it, the deadline is absolutely for real. Um, the stations, the ground stations are all operational throughout the, uh, the entire North America area. I think one of the things that people are perhaps really understanding are the benefits. The fact that you can um, squitter out 1090 as we do with trig equipment and what that does Tom is that switches on all the ground stations in your relevant area to give you a full traffic service without a compliant out should we say then you're not going to get that traffic picture so we're hearing from people who now are using the technology and in fact the benefits are here right now you don't have to wait till 2020 and it's been my experience with folks that once you've flown with ADSB that you wonder why you waited so long to actually equip it and, and take advantage of all those those things that it offers. Absolutely, and with the uh, traffic solutions that are coming or are available, uh, we ourselves at Trig hope to have something for Oshkosh next year, which is going to be a UAT solution. But yeah, you're absolutely right. People can make the, the most of it and, and fly with much better surveillance information in the cockpit. Aero TV is brought to you by... Are you stall smart? Ever since Orville and Wilbur took to the skies, pilots have been taught that the more airspeed you have, the better off you are. But over the last 100 plus years, we've learned that's not always the case. Take stalls for example. The common belief is that if you have sufficient airspeed, the aircraft won't stall. The fact is, an airfoil always stalls at the same critical angle of attack in relation to the relative airflow, regardless of airspeed, configuration, or weight. Learn more at AspenAvionics.com. Since 2001, MGL Avionics has produced avionics for experimental and light sport aircraft. The flagship product is the IEFIS, a comprehensive next-generation flight, engine, and navigation instrument designed to meet the demands of the modern pilot. See more at www.mglavionics.com.